بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اسٹوڈنٹس ایک اور ہمارا اہم انفلیشن انڈیکیٹر ہے جس کو کنزیومر پرائس انڈیکس کہتے ہیں تو آج ہم اس ویڈیو میں آپ کو کنزیومر پرائس انڈیکس کے حوالے سے بریف کریں گے اسی سے ہم میجرمنٹ آف دی کاسٹ آف لیونگ بھی کرتے ہیں یعنی جو کنزیومر ہے اس کی جو کاسٹ آف لیونگ ہے وہ کتنی انکریز کرتی ہے یہ بھی ہم کنزیومر پرائس انڈیکس سے سیکھ سکتے ہیں دس اور دس کانسیپٹ از دا موسٹ کامن یوزڈ میجر آف دی لیول آف پرائسز اینڈ دس کانسیپٹ از وائڈلی یوزڈ ایز اے میجر آف انفلیشن وین وی گو فار دی ڈیفینیشن وی کین سے اٹ از دی انڈیکس وچ شوز ہاؤ مچ ویریشن ہیز اکرڈ ان دی جنرل پرائس لیول اسپیشلی آف دی گڈز اینڈ سروسز وچ آر بینگ یوزڈ بائی کنزیومر کہ وہ یہ کنزیومرس کے حوالے سے ہے second you can explain it it shows the changes in the price level of consumer goods and services over the time period third explanation is it is the ratio between consumer expenditure in current period to consumer expenditures in base period so these uh, are the three definition you can opt any one uh, all these shows the uh, what the cpi is uh, it has very simple calculation so calculation you can have a formula this formula look like uh, the formula of uh, gdp deflator but here they, you will feel the difference consumer price index is basically the ratio between the consumer expenditure of current period divided by the consumer expenditure of the base year period so this i have written here the detail what we mean by some q not pt so the basic point and important point is that the basket of goods and services during the two periods remain same you may have a, a table here by which we can uh, easily explain this concept for example if we are given the two items bread and entertainment and uh, here it uh, the, this is the quantity and this is the price level and this is the expenditure so if you are consuming bread 100 q 100 quantity entertainment for example five trips a visit somewhere the price of bread is 10 dollar and the price of entertainment is 20 dollar so multiplying quantity and price we have expenditure 1000 dollar and for entertainment we have also 1000 dollar expenditure the total expenditure uh, we will call it sum q not p not is equal to 2000 dollar and in 2020 the quantity remains the same so this is the difference between gdp deflator and uh, and uh, cpi here the quantity remain the same so the basket of goods and services remain the same however the prices has increased from 10 dollar to 20 and from 20 dollar to 40 dollar so expenditure has definitely increased multiplying by 120 540 so overall the expenditures has increased up to 4000 dollar so the consumer expenditure on the two goods which were uh, 2000 dollar in 2015 now these are 4000 dollar in 2020 substituting the values in our formula cpi you can calculate it to 4000 divided by 2000 dollar equal to 2 or if you are going to take it in percentage you can use you can multiply the above formula with 100 and you will get 200 what does it mean <clears throat> it means the consumer the consumer expenditure or the cost of living has increased by two times or it has been doubled or consumer has to spend double of his income during the year 2020 as compared to this his expenditure during 2015 in 2015 he has to spend only 1 dollar for a particular basket of goods and services but now in 2020 he has to spend 2 dollar on the same basket of goods and services so th- this is the uh, uh, a little bit story of uh, consumer price index which is the indicator of uh, cost of living another important sub topic is the difference between gdp deflator which we have earlier studied and the consumer price index 
which we are going to study. So, what is the difference between these two? So, <clears throat> I have taken an annotated form for explanation. Uh, here is GDP deflator. This all properties are GDP deflator and this is all the properties of consumer price index and you can easily compare it. For example, GDP deflator measures the prices of all goods and services produced while the CPI measure the prices of only those goods and services bought by the consumers. And the second one, the prices of those goods which are purchased by producers are included here in GDP deflator. But these are goods which are purchased by producer are not included here in CPI. And number three, GDP deflator covers only those goods and services which are produced domestically. Imported goods are not imp imported goods are not included, rather these are excluded. But here in CPI, it includes both domestic as well as imported goods. And uh, definitely these imported goods are consumed by consumers. <coughs> Number four, in calculation of GDP deflator, we assign changing weights. I mean basket of goods and services change over time. While in CPI, we use fixed weights. That means basket of goods and services remains fixed. So there is another difference. We here use the formula of Pache index formula. And uh, for CPI, we have used the last press index formula. So this is the, these are the main differences between GDP deflator and CPI consumer price index. Okay students, uh, tomorrow we will discuss another topic uh, that may be uh, uh, regarding uh, the CPI or deflator or it will be the new one. Okay, stay with us, wait for us, inshallah we will meet again, Allah Hafiz.